Hey everybody, I am really excited about this video today. So after talking to a ton of people about what is going on in the AI space and making recommendations to them, everyone's first comment is how do you keep up with everything? It seems so overwhelming and they don't know where to start. And ultimately, they're already doing way too much and don't have the time to start either. These are the people who will need these resources the most. Not all of the people diving fully in right now, they're already prepared. For me, I take for granted being in this 24 seven, and I didn't realize that the processes I have already set up, I can just share with everyone. That is what I'm going to do today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman, and my focus is really giving creators and creative people superpowers. The videos I make are really for everyone, but especially beginners who aren't really sure where to start. I wanted to create a place where they can go and educate themselves at their own pace. Okay, let's dive right in. Today, I want to introduce everyone to my AI toolbox. This is in very early stages, and for now, I'm offering this to everyone for free. All I ask is that you subscribe to my channel, like the video and repost uh, to everyone that you know. <laughs> uh, it would really help out the channel. And I'm making this video to walk you through what the AI toolbox is and how to use it. Now, since this is in the early stages, I'm calling it alpha and I'm planning on updating this every single day. I've been using a number of other tools for this, but after today, this is going to be my main resource where I'm going to put everything I am researching and creating so everyone has access to it. I'm already doing this for me, so I'm going to be just be giving it to everyone else so they can keep up. First off, I want to stress again how great Notion is. And if you haven't heard about Notion yet, you're about to see why it is so helpful, and I couldn't recommend it more. It keeps me organized and everything is all in one place. And I build everything out in databases. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. And I visualize those databases in many different ways. You're going to find a number of those ways throughout the pages in this AI toolbox as I go over it. Okay, so this is the main page. As you see, I've broken it down into different categories. We've got AI tools, curated chat GPT guide and prompts, my mid-journey guide and prompts, AI and tech news, inspiration, education, AI automations, chatbots, production tools, and cheat sheets. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna create more categories or rearrange. This is a living and breathing document. I'm doing this for me. I'm just letting everybody else use it. So uh, ultimately, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through each category to show you what it is and how to use it. Uh, a lot of these aren't filled out completely yet because I've been using other tools and now I am just uh, putting this all in one place. So you'll see that some may seem a bit slim. That's not going to be the case, okay? So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over AI tools. When you click on this, you're going to see uh, AI tools. Uh, what are AI tools? You're gonna see a bunch of different toggle menus here. And these toggle menus, you can just open, play around with, you'll see them updated. I'll try and put an update notification on the uh, main category page uh, every time I make an update. Uh, that I can do by just putting an action indicator right up here. Uh, so in this AI tools, it's pretty simple. I've been doing this for a while. Uh, all these tools are broken down into different, uh, different subjects. So for instance, you have image generation, website generation, presentations, you get the picture, legal, LLMs. And when you toggle them down, you'll see you're going to have uh, each one of the uh, programs that I've, uh, I've gone through and I've curated. Uh, so if you click on, say, Dream Studio, what you'll see is you're going to see it's going to have a link and an image. Uh, in the future, I'm gonna be filling out this page with potentially examples. I'm gonna be filling it out with any information that will that will help out more. So that is what AI tools uh, is going to be consisting of. And what you'll see is also, is this is gallery. 
Uh, if you click on it, you're also going to be able to see a table. And these tables are basically how I made my gallery. It's pretty simple. There's You don't really need to mess with a table, but if for some reason you get lost, just click on gallery and it'll give you a better uh, view if I happen to make some sort of error in uh, not hiding those. Okay, so I'm gonna come back out to the main page uh, to do so. Uh, I'm gonna just click that button right there. And next up, I'm gonna put uh, the curated chat GPT guide. So as you see, when I opened it, uh, I have curated starting prompts. Everything uh, I am putting on this page, there are a lot of things that I'm putting together on my own, like some of these tools, but there are a lot of pieces that I curate. And um, I'll do my best to give, uh, give examples of where I got them. If I don't, I'm sorry. But um, these, a lot of these are uh, the ones that GitHub give, gave away for free. I went ahead and just made it super easy for everyone. Right up here, it's basically telling you what ChatGPT is, the latest, prompt, the latest prompting guide. I'll put as much uh, in here as possible. Uh, I'd love suggestions from anyone. Um, I'll show you right down here. If you see uh, at the bottom here, it has all my basic information, my website, YouTube channel, all my links, my email, everything that you need to do to get a hold of me. Please reach out, make suggestions. I would love them. So what you'll see is in each one of these, uh, it has different prompts. It just makes it easy if you want to say, hey, I want to make an astrology GPT. I want you to act as an astrologer. You will learn about the zodiac signs and their meanings, understand planetary positions, and how they affect human lives. So uh, basically, it has this types of um, information, a legal advisor, uh, a password generator, financial advisor, hypnotherapist, a DIY expert. You can do anything you want. Um, ultimately, anyone could have written these. Uh, but uh, I went ahead and curated these, made it easy to access, and I am giving that to you. So that's what's going to be in here. Uh, again, there might be some more robust tools in the future as, uh, as these tools grow uh, and uh, I grow and all of these things will change. Um, I'm doing the same thing for Mid Journey. So you'll see here is what is Mid Journey. Um, I have uh, a prompt guide. This is the guide I'm like basically giving you the idea of what Mid Journey 6 is saying the best prompt uh, prompt is and to get you the best results. When I click this down, it gives you one of the images that I made with a prompt that I used to get it. Uh, you'll see, again, I'll go into more detail. These are specifics. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, all of these settings in a separate uh, drop down just so you understand what they mean. But like this is aspect ratio, a version, the version of Mid Journey. Um, uh, so those types of examples. Uh, if you look at example uh, right here, tips and tricks, again, I've only uh, been able to migrate a few over, uh, but that's gonna obviously be updating regularly. Okay, these are the additional prompting tools. For instance, for filmography, I went ahead and I put all of these in there, which is photographers that you can reference, film director styles. Uh, film styles, colors, cameras, camera angles, camera distance, so focal lengths, all of those different types of things that can just help you get better prompts and get, get zeroed in just a little bit better. Uh, I have not yet put in uh, too many curated starting prompts yet, but those are obviously going to grow. Okay, so now let's get into AI and tech news. Again, I just started using this to keep my news. I have been using other tools such as Slack to keep myself updated, but instead of using Slack, I'm just going to put my feed basically into Notion. And uh, you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm ultimately gonna put a date, the link, where I got it from, what the publication was, and eventually we'll be able to filter by tags and say, I want all the links from Gizmodo. I want all of them from Wall Street Journal. But ultimately, if you just want to keep updated, you can just go to my AI and tech uh, news page and then just see what I'm reading. Uh, I try and keep it updated and sift through all of them because I don't want to, to get the ones that nobody would be interested in. So uh, hopefully that can help you in taking the time to do what I'm doing. As far as inspiration, I'm inspired by a lot of different people. I just started putting some of these up here, um, like Nick St. Pierre. He is a fantastic mid-journey expert. 
uh, on uh, Twitter. I know he has different channels as well, but I really enjoy getting his stuff. Tatiana, um, what I love so much about her is she really goes into depth and gives examples for every single thing she does in order to try and get better images. I really uh, enjoy looking at her work. And David Clark is a director who, he made that Adidas spec commercial um, he's making incredible visuals, and I think he will definitely be a leader uh, as uh, this whole AI revolution and renaissance progresses. So I'm really excited to see where they go. I'm going to keep updating these. I'm going to I'm going to probably uh, organize them by category, and uh, hopefully you can be inspired by the same people that I'm inspired by. Now, in terms of education, uh, again, I have not uh, kept this too updated yet. But um, uh, No Code MBA is one of the ones that I've been looking at. Obviously, you have Udemy, you have Skillshare. I'm going to probably stick closer to the ones that are very specific versus these larger types of hubs for masterclasses. The No Code MBA one is really interesting because it really goes and dives deep into all of the programs that allow people to basically code without any coding experience. And I think that is where we're headed. So as more educational tools came out, I saw one for Stanford today. I know Amazon's offering them. I'm gonna start putting them in there. Uh, so you can just go there. You don't have to like wait for somebody to post something new. You can just come to this hub and make sure that you're updated with everything new all at once. Uh, for in regards to AI automations, I haven't built this out yet. You'll start seeing some of the ways that I keep notes. And uh, the ways that I keep notes is like, these are the AI automations that I'm gonna make. Business automations, creative workflow and household. And what this means is uh, if you want uh, something to happen as in regards to a monotonous task that you do over and over and over again. There are softwares like make.com, Zapier, Bardeen, um, even Notion has ways where you can trigger something to cause a different action, say in a database or something triggered to email someone or download something. Uh, I'm gonna start creating these tools and uh, putting them in here so you can use them. Uh, hopefully they become really robust and again, this is a two lane street and I wanna make sure that you suggest things and then maybe that's what I end up working on, uh, helping you out directly. Uh, so I come from the production and film and television and advertising world. So I'm very specific to those types of creative tools for production. And what I really wanted to do is help, uh, you know, different pieces of the process from development production to post-production, um, even conceptualizing, uh, visualizing, previs, all of that, and making tools that can really help those specific people like UPMs, production manners, art directors, making things like how can I make call sheets easier, storyboards, um, organization easier, schedules easier, coverage. Um, all of these tools that are traditionally done in one way and haven't been changed for a long time, I'm going to come up with, you know, maybe more simplified tools that can uh, help these processes in a better way. Uh, and those are going to go there. Uh, again, coming soon means that I'm going to update them. They might not be fully uh, robust yet. And in the end, here's the cheat sheets. I'm going to basically populate this with a whole bunch of cheat sheets for you that uh, allow you to just get maybe one pagers uh, for specific tasks. I'll create one for MidJourney, one for ChatGPT. I'm gonna slowly start integrating this, but I'm really excited to share this with you now. Uh, just because it is uh, a living in motion. I'm working in motion. I'm building this with you all, and I really want you to see my process. But also just be updated because I'm doing this 24-7, and this is, this is hard. Uh, there's a lot of updates, a lot of updates that really businesses need and creative people need, and they don't know it yet. And there's going to come a time where that clicks, and when that clicks, there's gonna have been people in this for so long and they're going to just be ready for it. And then the people who haven't been ready for it, they're not gonna know where to go. And there are some sites that, again, that I follow and that uh, are great. They seem a little bit more technical and they seem a little bit more advanced. And I wanted to make something that just felt a little easier to use. So when it does click, people are like, oh my gosh, well, what do I do? How do I get all this information at once? And I really want this to be the place that they come. So thank you so much for watching. 
please subscribe to the channel. I'm so excited to talk to you, make suggestions, and let's build this together. And I really, really appreciate you taking the time and spending your time with me.